welcome back to another 3D Printer Kids YouTube video. And today we're going to be setting up Broadlink with Home Assistant. It is super simple, so let's quickly get started. First, you want to go to Configuration, Devices and Services, Add Integration, and then look for Broadlink. Before you enter your IP address, go to your Broadlink app meaning you have to have your Broadlink set up. Tap on your Broadlink. Tap on the little three dots at the top. Tap on Property. Make sure Lock Device is turned off, because this, then this will give Home Assistant access to the device. Alrighty. Then you'll enter your IP address for the device, and it will pair together. But then you'll realize everything that you have in there that you've programmed is not popping up here. That's because they don't connect together, so you have to do it a different way. You have to then go to Developer, developer Tools, then go to Services, then you'll want to enter Remote.Learn Command. So then you'll pick your broad link. You'll name your new device, whatever you want to. And then you'll give it your command that you want to use. So, light on is what we'll put here and we'll call it the LED strip. Alrighty, tap on call service. And then you'll see a little notifications pop up in Home Assistant. And it will tell you to press the light on button. And then also, the little orange light on the broad link will be on. So you want to follow the instructions. And now it's programmed. So, I guess I put it in there twice. My bad. But anyways, once you have the command learned, you'll go to remote dot send command I think I named it LED strip then light on and you choose your broadlink device so I guess it didn't see it then you hit call service, and it worked just as I wanted it to. Then you, maybe you can program your off. But say you want to delete a command. That's super simple too. You go to remote dot delete command. Then you name your device. Then you list the ones you want to delete. If you want to delete the entire thing, list all of the commands. And make sure you select your Broadlink device. Tap on call service, and it's all gone. So then you want to go to your UI, and then you'll want to add the card. You can just use a simple button, and then change your entity to your script you just created. So like LED strip on, and then you can do whatever you want with it, and hit save, and done. So then once you click it, it'll turn your light strips on. Now, of course, you'll wanna like have it turn off and stuff, but this is just a quick example, and I hope it helped. Have a good day.